If you work in the field of plastic product design, you have probably heard of TG, glass transition temperature. Not the easiest word for a fin to pronounce. But do you know what it means and do you know how to take it into account in your design work? Let's have a look. Before we start, it would help if you understood the difference between amorphous and semi-crystalline plastics. In case you don't, there's a short video in plasticprop.com where I explain it. Let's start with TG of amorphous plastics such as polystyrene. I draw a graph here. So here we have two axes. We have surface temperature on x-axis starting from, let's say, room temperature. And on the y-axis we have mechanical properties such as pencil modulus or the stiffness of the product. We start from somewhat here and as we turn the radiator on and start elevating the temperature, our stiffness comes down and down and down 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 until it quite dramatically drops when it has reached temperature of 90 Celsius. And 90 Celsius is approximately the TG of polystyrene. So when it comes to amorphous plastics, this whole TG thing is quite easy. Amorphous plastics can only be used below their TG. TG limits their upper surface temperature. But how is it with semi-crystalline plastics, such as polyamide 6? So we actually start in a bit lower level than we did with polystyrene, but the same way when we start elevating the temperature, our properties go down, 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 and then they make this a bit more dramatic drop, but do not hit the floor, but instead they continue declining in a bit more modest way. But this dent takes place where poluamide crosses its TG, which is about 60 Celsius. So what is important here is the fact that amorphous plastics can be used only below their TG, and semi-crystalline plastics can be used on both sides of their TG. But what you have to keep in mind is that the mechanical properties of semi-crystalline plastics change when they cross the TG. They turn from glassy to rubbery. Or another way to put it is that their behavior turns from brittle to ductile. So on the colder side of TG, you might have like high strength and stiffness, but the impact resistance of the material is limited due to lower toughness. And on the other side of TG, it is the opposite. It is good to notice that TG is a material-specific temperature. It doesn't have anything to do with room temperature, boiling water, freezing water, or anything like that. You may have, for an example, two BBTs with slightly different TG, because it is chemically possible to adjust it a little. TG is not a strict temperature, it is more like a region, and when the material goes through that region, the transformation takes place. When it comes to some semi-crystalline plastics, it is quite likely that you will be kind of dealing with them on the rubbery side of TG only. High-density polyethylene, for example, has TG of minus 110 Celsius and have TG of POM, if I remember right, is somewhat minus 50 Celsius. So they are, you don't, you don't need the brittle side of them unless you are, I don't know what could be the application. So what to do if you want to find out what is the TG of a certain material, let's say poluamide 6. For some reason, technical data sheets, they don't communicate these TGs very clearly. I don't know why, because it is vital information, but mm, it is missing. But if you simply Google PA6, glass transition temperature, you get like four or five hits easily, and then you compare them to each other and see that, okay, they are pretty much in line, and there you go. So if you're designing a plastic product and you are planning to use semi-crystalline material, you know the surface temperature of your product and you know the TG of the material and if the TG is within the surface temperature area, you have to make sure that your expectations, your customer expectations and your specification is fulfilled on both sides of TG in both ends of the surface temperature area. This can be done by calculations or theoretically, but always I would prefer practical testing. That's it. Thank you for watching.